helpful. So, you know, doing those steps, hydrating, you know, I know it's tough, especially when you're trying to get used to it, getting up at night, you know, multiple times, but it, you won't regret it. That's why it, it doesn't feel quite as hot if you're taking those steps, you know, try to go one day without it and certainly you'll feel it. The Ridge also prevents a lot of well organized weather features from lasting very long, but a couple of these little disturbances have been breaking through. We'll get to that in just a moment, but first let's take a check of the tropics because we are looking at this development near Central America, possibly a de tropical depression by later this week and into the weekend. Now it's about a 30 to 40% chance. So uh, regardless of whether or not it becomes an actual name storm, it's certainly going to create possible mudslides and uh, likely a foot of rain in some areas of Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula. Temperatures offshore Louisiana, 86 degree warm temperature. It is just a, you know, really a hotbed there. If we see any kind of organization, of course, we'll let you know. But right now, what we see are some very isolated thunderstorms that have potential for development later this afternoon, especially across areas of uh, that Alabama and Georgia border. That's about 9 p.m. That's just a future cast, but the actual forecast map that shows the possible uh, threat for storms, notice it turns towards yellow right around Birmingham, Anniston. That's between 2 and 10 p.m. because as the atmosphere starts to heat up, it is really volatile, and so these storms pack quite a punch. Uh, temperatures will be in the 90s. We do have the chance for thunderstorms. Keep that in mind as the atmosphere heats up and then the rain chances.